how to use Venus protocol. Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm giving you a beginner's tutorial for Venus protocol, which is a DeFi protocol for Binance. And I will show you how to get started with it and how to use it. So let's get started. First, what you have to do is you will simply go to Venus.io and you will get right here. Venus is a protocol that is for Binance and it's a DeFi protocol. Uh, very easy to use and I'll show you everything. Uh, so once you get to Venus.io, you can click on launch app and it will take you to the Venus protocol dashboard. Now, this is my dashboard right here. And the first step that we do is that we're going to connect our wallet to our Venus protocol. So that's what you have to do as well. Go to Venus and then you're going to click on connect wallet. Now you can select any wallet that you have. We have a lot of different choices. We have MetaMask, Coinbase, Brave Wallet, Binance, Ledger, a Trust Wallet and others. I'm going with a MetaMask wallet. Now, if you do not have a MetaMask wallet or any crypto wallet, then you can just simply get it. There will be a video on this channel as well, how to get a MetaMask wallet, but you can just go to MetaMask.io and then you can get a wallet. Now, keep in mind, because Venus Protocol works on BNB, you will require the BNB network. So you can go to your MetaMask and add a BNB network as well. So you can see I already have it. Uh, the chain ID is 56 and you will be able to get a RP url anywhere so you can just add the bnb once you have it click on connect wallet and your wallet will be connected so you can see i have connected my wallet we're good to go now let me show you around venus.io before we get into the platform i just want to clarify that this video is not a financial advice and i am not a financial advisor trading in crypto and using a protocol involves a high degree of risk or whether you truly understand it so make sure that you understand it this video is not a financial advice it's a tutorial on the platform that being said let's jump into it so we have our main dashboard right here and in my dashboard we have my account and this is my net apy which is zero percent because i just created the account daily earnings will be shown here supply balance and borrow balance right here so because venus is used for lending money and borrowing money then we will be able to you know see it right here and we can also make money make profit on lending money uh, when it comes to crypto uh, so we have mint and repay option right here if i scroll down we have the supply market and borrow market so these are the two markets available and i can go to the market option right here as well and it will again take me to the market and i will be able to check everything in more detail um so let's go to the market and you can see the total supply the number of total supply is given here total borrow total treasury and liquidity is given here as well now it depends on me that what kind of you know coin i was looking for what kind of asset i want to go for so we have all of the famous assets available here we have matic luna link uh, ethereum dot doji Dai, cake busd then we have btcb bnb all of these are different available let's go with bnb so i'm gonna open this one up all right so once you click on one of the coins assets it will open it up for you and now i have my supply info given here so this is the graph that we're getting and you can see we have a total supply which is 165.68 million apy is 1.18 percent okay distribution apy is 1.08 percent and this is the graph right here for uh, according to the percentage and you can go it went kind of low but right now it's kind of like in the middle and the supply of apy right now is 1.23 percent at the time of making this video and this is the total supply this is the market info for this coin right here this is the price right now at the time of making this video uh, market liquidity number of supplies number of browsers borrow cap interest pay date and we have reserves now moving on we have borrow information so this is going to be the borrow total borrow is 57.93 million and i can also go ahead and now like borrow on my bnb 
So you can see right here the APY is minus 4.27% of course because it's a borrowed and then we have interest model rate. So the green one is actually our supply APY and the red one is our borrowed one. This is like our interest rate model. So you will be able to get insights to your coin right here once you open it up. So I can just like you know explore all of these and check the ones that I am interested in and then I will be able to get them. Then we have the vault option. Now vault is the option where I will be able to stake and withdraw. Uh, so we have different options here. We have staking options. So we have XVS, which is like the Venus. Then we have VAI and then we have VRT. So these are the different protocols that are available. And these are for staking and you will be able to check them out here. If I want to stake, I can click on the stake option. And if I have any, you know, funds right here, I can withdraw them from this option right here. Let's say that I want you to stake. So I will click on the stake option and then I will enable it first. The XVS, you know, stake. It will ask my permission from the wallet that I have connected. Once the wallet is connected, I will be able to simply stake on this protocol right here. So this is how the staking and withdraw works on Venus.io. Then we have the history option. Now, history is where I will be able to check all of my transactions. And you can see right here, uh, not just mine, all of the different transactions happening on uh, Venus.io. So you can see right here, different minting on BNB, Pancake, Boros, Redeem, minting of Ethereum, BNBs, so all of the different, you know, transactions are given here. I can filter my search with my transaction and it will show me right here. Then we have the vote section. So the what is where I can add different, uh, you know, do voting with my wallet and I can deposit XVS and I can create a proposal as well. So you can deposit XVS from this option right here. And then we have the voting right here. Deposit your tokens in XVS vault and delegate your voting power to yourself or somebody else. So this is how the voting works right here on uh, Venus. And uh, then we have the XVS option again. This is now our protocol, our Venus protocol right here. And you can see like daily distribution is right now on 6,700 something. This is the remaining. Again, I have all of the different XVS given here. So if I want to check out the BUSD, so you can see it has 625 XVS, 0.59% of XVS apply and borrow is 1.26%. So this is the, you know, supply percentage and the borrow percentage right here. Then we have our convert VRT and XVS option, uh, one of the most important ones. And I can convert my VRT to a Venus uh, protocol right here. And what we can do is we can actually convert, of course, because Venus works with BNB and we work on lending and receiving money and borrowing money, then we need to kind of like convert our protocols and our assets and our tokens. So you can do that from this option right here and you can withdraw your tokens as well. And then, and at last we have XVS predictions and you can check it out as well. So I'm gonna go to my dashboard. And on my dashboard now, what I can do is I can actually add a collateral and I can own these different collaterals, enable them with my wallet right here. So if you want to enable any of the uh, different assets, then you can just select the asset you want. For example, this is going to be in the supply market. Keep in mind. Uh, so if I want to enable them. What I can do is I can just select the one, for example, BNB. So this is the percentage, zero BNB right now. So I'm going to enable this one. It will open up my wallet and I will give it my wallet permission. And then I will be able to enable uh, this asset right here. If you want to borrow any of the different assets, let's go with BTCB. So just click on it and then we have the borrow option right here. And I can enable this one. The borrow APY is going to be minus two point four percent and the distribution apy is going to be 3.12 percent and i can enable this one and it will borrow it for me or i can repay what i have borrowed and you can see right here the borrow apy will remain the same so yeah guys this brings us to the end of the video i hope that i was big help to you guys and now you know how to use a venus protocol don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up or leave a comment down below turn on bell notification and subscribe to the youtube channel